Hey guys, it's Miss trying to figure it all out. It is 2 a.m. and I know you guys are probably sleeping, but I am up and you know what? I think I want to have a little dress up playtime. <laughs> I hope you guys have been doing well. I have been tired. I'm still tired, y'all. Um, today's, well, it's technically Monday morning. It's like, it's like almost 2 a.m. Monday morning, but um, I was off Sunday, which was Easter Sunday. Happy belated Easter Sunday to y'all. <laughs> um, so I was off, but I'm just like, oh my gosh. First of all, I, um, well, I didn't, I didn't cook or anything like that. I am getting a slight headache, so I'm going to take some Excedrin. But, um, so yeah, I didn't cook or anything like that. Um, and I knew I wanted to go to my mom's. I'm like, I need to figure out something for dinner because I didn't want her cooking and it's not like, I think like back in the day, it was harder to find places open to get food on Easter. But just being out and about today with Aubrey L, like going there, I like everything looked to be open like normal. Like things didn't, there were some places that were closed, but for the most part, I mean, there was like regular traffic. I mean, people just out and about the stores looked pretty much open may they may not have been open like the full like regular hours but they were open some so but um so when I woke up I got up at like two something and I was trying to talk myself into the fact that I was gonna have to get up by three because I knew Aubrey was getting off work at three and I knew she was going to be tired. She didn't want to wait all night for me to get my, you know, decide to get up and then get ready. And she's waiting. And so I went ahead and um, got myself out the bed and got ready. And I and I got on my phone and I called because um, I, I started Googling, like, <laughs> where can I get dinner today? Just something to take to my mom's. I, I know my mom likes Red Lobster. I was like, I could get, I, I knew that would be the one place. If anything else failed, that could be the one place that I could go and get us some din din. <laughs> but um, I, I, I remembered one time I had gone and I ordered just a whole bunch of different things from City Barbecue. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and do that, you know, because she loves their corn pudding. She loves their greens and macaroni and cheese. Like they have just everything that I knew that she would like, you know, for a meal. So and that Ariel would eat. So um, I got on their website. I had actually got on their website on Saturday night and I'm thinking, okay. I don't see anything saying they're going to be closed, and they, it was let me do the little, I just said, well, let me look at the menu, but you have to pick, um, excuse me, I had to pick order now or something like that, and I, I was pretending like I was doing an order just to see what I was going to order when it came time, so I'm like, okay, well, they'll be open, I'll just order it when I get up, so anyway, I got up, I <laughs> go to their website, and I'm doing, you know, putting everything in the cart that I want to get. And um, when it comes time to add everything and check and go to checkout, it gave me the date for April 1st. I was like, that <laughs> is not going to work. <laughs> that is like the next day. So I just immediately, y'all, uh, I didn't want to do it because I know I do it all the time. I was like, you know what? When all else fails, get a seafood boil. So, <laughs> no, it's not the, the traditional 
Easter meal, but I went ahead and got um, hook and reel, and I got my mom one a boil called what's it called the real catch, and it has like um, two pounds of snow crab. It has a pound of shrimp. It has a pound of New Zealand mussels and potatoes and corn in it. And I got her the garlic, um, garlic butter flavor. And I mean, it is a lot of food in there and enough for a couple of days. So, and then I got, um, Aubrey just wanted a small catch lemon pepper and she gets, she gets shrimp and crab in hers with the potatoes and corn. She doesn't really, she kind of cares for mussels, but not as much as she used to. I think, um, well, in mine, I got, uh, I got the perfect storm and I got, it came with, uh, the black mussels. And I, I know that I like New Zealand mussels better than the black mussels, but it was okay. They were still good. Um, so I got that and I got, um, it came with shrimp and it came with crab and the potatoes and corn. And I get the, um, I used to get the seasoned garlic butter, but now I get the, um, old bay and butter mix. So it was really good. And when I tell y'all, so I get to my mom's and I have my, the, I already has the bag. And so we go where my mom has made a place for us to eat. But she didn't know what I was bringing. She just knew I was going to bring some dinner. And um, she said, yeah, she was talking to my brother, one of my brothers on the phone. And she said, yeah, he was saying, oh, she's probably going to bring y'all some shrimp and crab and this. And then she was like, no, that's too, that's too expensive. She's not going to be bringing that. And, you know, <laughs> so... When she saw that hook and reel bag, she, I don't think it registered right away until I started pulling the bags out. And she's like a kid. She was like, ooh. She was like, I'm so excited. She was like, I was wanting some of that so bad. So I was so happy, y'all. I was happy that um, <laughs> City Barbecue didn't work out. Because how I know she was looking forward to it, she had already, I have, um, like when I do seafood boils, when I eat those, I use, you know, those look those little foil pans that you cook like a little casserole or something in and they're disposable. That's what I get. So I have mine. She has hers. Aubrey has hers. And you can just dump your stuff in a foil pan and put foil over it and have a lid for it. And anyway, it's so convenient. It works so well. But um, she said... Just in case, I had already washed the foil pans and stuff out. I thought that was so cute, but it made my day because I was like, yes. At first, I felt guilty about doing that. Like, I always do this. But she was so looking forward to it. So, yeah, <laughs> worked out. <laughs> the food was really, really good. I was worried that... Um, because the you know the sodium content in those boils is kind of high from the seasoning and stuff and just like right now I took some excedrin because I kind of have a slight headache and uh so before we left her place let me rewind anyway we had a great visit we had a great visit y'all know I'll be all over the place <laughs> so just bear with me um but we had a great visit. It was so fun. We got to catch up. And um, she had made these little Easter bags. And I had three. And in one of mine, it had these blondies. I don't know if you guys bake or eat baked goods or, you know, have people in your families that bake. But they're blondies. I can't bake. I can cook, but I can't bake. <laughs> The other one had those, um, oh my goodness, what are they called? I know what they're called, but I can't think right now. They're the, the little cookie that has like, uh, maybe it's pecans in it. I don't think it's a walnut. I Maybe it's pecans and it's covered in the white powdered, like powdered sugar stuff. 
Oh my goodness. And, there, and it's like a shortbread. It's so good. Like it's buttery. And so one had that, one had the blondies, and then the other one had um, banana nut bread. So she had baked this stuff last night, y'all. I was like, oh my goodness, you didn't have to do that. And she said it took her all night. Like, she was baking all night. And um, Aubrey had one with blondies with no nuts. So she was really thoughtful. She put mine with nuts because she knows I like those. And then Aubrey's without nuts. So Aubrey had the blondies and the um, she made banana bread with with no nuts. So mine is banana nut bread. Hers is just banana bread. So I test tasted everything when I got home. And it is, so those blondies, I, I'm like, I'm over here being ridiculous. I was in that chair right back there in my room, okay? <laughs> and I had my little bag sitting there, y'all. I test tasted each one. And then I just did, I just went in head first. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I went in, and then after that, I was sitting there like a fat rat, and I was like, dang, I, I overdid it. I still feel very, very filled, <laughs> very full. But, uh, so yeah, I'm sitting in my chair, and I'm looking over at my bed, like, I was trying to watch something, I forget what I was trying to watch, um, I was trying to watch something. 48 Hours was on or something like that. I was trying to watch that. And it just was not working. I was like, I gotta lay down. And so I um, <laughs> just shoved everything off my bed that was on there. And I got my cervical pillow and laid down. And I just I just expected to lay down and like, um, <laughs> just, you know, just lay down and not really go to sleep, but just lay there and let my food digest and try to make sense of it all. But no, I was waking up. I had text messages I missed coming in. I had <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Like I didn't even hear my phone go off. So it seemed like every time I woke up and put my phone down, I had a missed message when I, <laughs> when I woke up. But I feel slightly energized. I just got a little, little bit of headache. And I'm, I've been trying not to think about work tomorrow too much. Because y'all know I suffer from anxiety. And <laughs> that audit is tomorrow. I'm like, that, that time just snuck up on me. Like, seriously, y'all. Mm-hmm. It did. <laughs> oh, wow. But... You know, I was thinking about it. I'm like, I can only just do the best that I can do with this. I mean, I, what can I say? So I just, I know that, I don't know if you guys work at places that have audits and stuff like that, but we, this, it's not like it's the only audit, my eyebrow stuff, the only audit that I've ever done. Like I've, I've been the only person in my position consistently on nights for the last six years so I've done the audit for for the quality aspect for those years and I I want to say maybe the last three years I feel I was feeling like I was really getting the hang of it but now we have kind of like a new new systems, new management, just new everything. And so I'm not feeling quite as confident as I was, let's say, last year. Last year, I was still kind of nervous. I think that's natural for me just because of the, the fact that I do suffer from anxiety. So I was feeling a little nervous and... um but I just went out there and just did it. And it, it, I felt a little bit more at ease because the auditors, I've also gotten to know them over the years. The ones that come, sometimes I, I've had that auditor before. So, but um, hold on you guys real quick for me. 
Okay, guys, but if my face looks a little wet, it's because I sprayed some of this um, setting spray on my face. So I, I have a couple of different setting sprays, but I don't always use them. I have that one. This one sprays a little bit weird, so I'm always, I'm, I'm very on guard when I spray it in my face. This one sprays a little bit, like more like a mist, which is better than just getting straight sprayed in the face. But, um, so yeah, you guys, I ended up taking a nap and, um, I took a nap and like I said, I was waking up to messages on my phone every time I would, <laughs> I would wake up for a second, but, um, and then, and then when I finally did get up, I actually had, I had to turn the heat off. It was like, first of all, when I got dressed today, my outfit was still fine for the weather, but I had like, I was in my mind, I don't know why I was thinking it was cold out. I had had like a coat out, like an overcoat and everything. Cause I'm like, you know, it's cold out there. And so Ariel comes in my room and she has on like a jumpsuit and some sandals and I'm looking like, and what the the it wasn't the jumpsuit I was thinking about. The jumpsuit was so cute, by the way. But the sandals were open toe, so I was like, hold on. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness! I thought it was cold outside. She's like, no. And so, um, and it was sunny, so it was a little bit warmer with the sun as well. So I ended up just taking a jacket for later, but surprisingly the weather was gorgeous today y'all i was so happy i was happy for the the little kids that were doing their easter egg hunts and stuff i had to get my mirror i'm always forgetting something so yeah the weather was great that was a plus that kind of helped to motivate me some too just having some sunshine because when you think about it i just i don't get enough sunshine <laughs> i don't the little bit of sunshine i get her day is just on the drive to work. But, um, so yeah, it turned out to be a very blessed day. I couldn't have asked for anything more. So yeah, if I can get past this audit, y'all, I will be great. I want to say, like, hopefully by 7 or 8 in the evening, hopefully it will be done with. Hopefully. Um, and the thing is, the thing that kind of makes it slightly nerve-wracking and is kind of like testing my anxiety is the fact that for the audit, like typically the day shift goes first because you have so many resources on day shift. You have more resources. You have more of the people. That, I don't want to say the people that matter because that's the wrong choice of words, but just a different set of resources on days. And so a lot of times we start with day shift uh, for our audits, but we're starting with night shift this time. So the pressure is really on. And I mean, it's not like it's just me being audited. It's my, the company I work for that's being audited, but for my department, it's, you know, I gotta represent. <laughs> I'm like, dang, I wish my coworkers still worked there. At least I would have somebody to be with me. I might be able to talk and talk one of the guys from day shift on, <laughs> into staying a little bit later with me. I know I said it to a couple of them jokingly, but just for the audit. This 
my stuff is supposed to be a lighter color. It's a lighter color, but it's just like the other one that I have. If you, depending on how much you put on your brush, like it will, it will look darker depending on how much you have on your brush. I'm gonna wipe some of it off. Oh, they're not even, but. So yeah, I text my mom, let her know that the, those blondies, goodness y'all, like, I don't even know what to say. I wish you guys could try them. <laughs> they're so delicious. And honestly, I don't even remember her ever fixing those before I don't I mean she can bake my mother bakes and it tastes like it comes from a bakery like it's just amazing like it's so good yeah I told her I said those blondies were insane <laughs> meant that like they're a little bit something is off with my eyebrows hold on I got this um, interrogation playing on TV about this man that um, I don't know if he, maybe he and his wife were separating but she needed him to get his stuff out of the house and somehow when he went and I think he had a daughter there too but anyway somehow when he went to get his stuff he ended up killing her and her twin sister I was like oh my goodness Yeah, my dressing table is a little full, okay? <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, he ended up killing her and her twin sister. And I was like, dang, I I feel for their parents. You know, having, having twins is so unique. And then to lose them at the same time like that, tragically like that, it's just like, dang. First things first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think for my dress up outfit today, y'all, I'm just going to do like these. I, I got a pair of, um, you know, I've been stuck on bell bottom jeans here lately. So I got a pair of bell bottoms that are like, um, like a, a goldish color, maybe. <laughs> I don't know how to describe the color. And, um, so I think I'm just going to pair that with like some cute sandals and something maybe like a tank top or something like that or a summer top and then I also have this jumper that I've had that's you can wear it in the daytime but I probably would most likely wear it at night in these really cute heels that I have that are Remind me of something from like, um, <laughs> like Dance Fever or something like that. They're really cute. They're giving like a 70s type vibe to me. <laughs> something from the 70s or 80s. Probably the 80s. Yeah, that was something like the disco era or <laughs> so. I wanted to do a video last week because I, I, I've been trying to like upload a video like at least one a week. But um, 
Yeah, I was so dang on tired, okay? I was just tired. I was like, I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything. It wasn't just another video. I could not do anything. I was that tired. Because I've, I've still been on 12-hour shifts. Yeah, I know I'm all over the place. I start talking about work, and I'll talk about my mom, and I'll talk about home, and I'll talk about work. Y'all know I have the attention span of a gnat. But anyway, so, yeah, I'm still on 12-hour shifts. And up until last week, I was also working seven days. So, it's like, oh my goodness. And on Fridays... I used to do an eight hour shift where I would get off at night instead of in the morning. But now I'm required to do a 12 hour shift on Fridays. So even though like I go for an eight hour shift on Saturday, I have to be in early for that eight hour shift. So I am dog tired after working at 12 on Friday, getting off Saturday morning and then going to work early Saturday afternoon. It, by the time I do get off work, and even though I might have a Sunday off, I'm so tired that, you know, I just, there's not much I can do except try to rest. But, you know, it is what it is. I know a lot of places, like my, my oldest brother, he also works in a factory in my mom was telling me that he said that they, you know, they've been working a lot of hours like that too. Just like that sometimes, you know, with factory work. I mean, any factory that I've been at, it, it has been, it has pretty much been that way. So, So I take and I kind of use my freckle pen and kind of darken where there are already freckles at. <laughs> and it's crazy. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this. On my face, like if you look here and here I have moles directly across from one another and then on my chin I have two moles directly across from one I'm like <laughs> I always joke and be like who am I manufactured like <laughs> oh my goodness I think that is so funny I'm trying to think um do I need to put clothes on first no I think I'll just for my hair I think I'm just gonna put it up in a top knot Y'all know that's my favorite way to wear my hair. I do think that um, in the next couple months, I'm going to try to take a vacation, some time off. And then... Um, at the end of the year, I'll take my usual time off. If, if, if it's possible, you know, I don't, I don't know in regards to, you know, there being other quality texts on my shift. I mean, they, they, they really are making a lot of changes for the better, you know, I can say that much. It is making a difference in a good way. So, but they're trying to correct a lot of things. And I know that that can't be, you know, it didn't happen overnight, what needed to be corrected. So it's not going to be fixed overnight. I just kind of have to be patient. It's a lip gloss on. Oh, no, not this one. 
I, I grabbed this lip gloss the other day and I started putting it on. It's like a, a goldish. Oh, I don't know about stuff like that on my lips. I kind of like just a clear glossy lip. I'm going to wipe that off. <laughs> but just to not have some just in case. So hold on, y'all. So I just have like a little bit set on my lips, which I don't mind just a little bit. But I like just this glossy lip gloss. This is the one that I love this smell. It smells like suntan oil. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it does. <laughs> oh. I have been <laughs> watching so much good stuff that I have put, I have put a lot of stuff on my playlist, y'all. I've subscribed to lots of different channels, but oh my goodness. I have <laughs> this one channel that I've been subscribing to. I have to tell y'all because when I was watching this channel I was laying in bed early today and it was before I actually really got up and when I tell y'all I was in here crying laughing it was so funny Shuler King you guys ever watch his videos he's a comedian <laughs> watch some of his stuff but that's not the one i was watching this morning but yeah on the Schuler king channel i had watched this one he had this one um video where he was talking about the bbls and y'all know i have mixed emotions about that stuff mixed feelings about that stuff but um he was talking about that and he showed this picture and these young ladies look like they were standing like in a mall or something like that. And he said the one was shaped like an air pod, y'all. I fell out because when I looked at it, I was like, dang. But, you know, sometimes they get that weird look when they get those BBLs. Like, like they're not proportionate. Like, things are kind of like the shape is just not, it's not right. So, oh my goodness, when I looked at it, and she was literally, looked like the shape of my AirPod. Dang, where's the channel at? Hell, I was crying. Oh, and I have, I don't know if you guys know this about me. Some of you guys might know, but I am a huge boxing fan. I always have been into boxing, and I kind of got away from it. Um, for, for a couple different reasons, but nothing to do with boxing, but, um, and, and now here lately, I really have been back into watching my videos and, oh my goodness. So I have, uh, some that I'm going to be putting on my playlist, some of my favorite boxing matches and, um, just some, some documentaries and stuff that um about my favorite boxers and stuff like that and um i like to watch like the best knockouts the best first round knockouts so yeah i i until i started watching it again watching videos again boxing videos i forgot how much i love to watch boxing so like when there used to be pay-per-view like i never missed pay-per-view boxing like if there was a fight on trust that i was getting it but um, i think this is it okay this is the channel y'all this young man had me crying in here luckily Aubrey wasn't home she was at work she probably would have been in here like what is wrong what's going on because i was like Oh my goodness. So his name is Jack Funny 313. My video just cut off for some reason, but anyway, his name is Jack Funny 313 and I have subscribed to his channel, but he had this video I was watching earlier about um <laughs> he had the bubble guts. Yeah, it was, I was in here crying. It was just, it was too hilarious. It was too funny. I couldn't help it. 
But, um, and then he had another one. Like, y'all have to watch it. If you need a good laugh, a good pick-me-up, you have to watch it. I'm probably going to watch it again, which is why I put it on my playlist. But, <laughs> um, and I put it under the playlist Too Funny. But, um, that, and then I had watched another one of his today, or yesterday, and it was, uh, <laughs> it was like the skit where he was riding with his homeboys, and they were just riding, being men, and, um, <laughs> he, his body odor was not right, <laughs> and he was the only one that didn't realize it. But uh, it was, it's a skit, and it was so freaking funny because I don't know if you guys have ever been in this situation where you've been around someone who might have body odor, like their underarms or something just smell like an onion patch, and you'd be like, oh, my gosh, if you lift your arm one more time, and they're just flapping all over the place. But um, <laughs> so he did a skit, and it was just hilarious, y'all. <laughs> Oh, wow. I could see myself watching his videos, like, routinely, for sure. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I'm just going to do a top knot tomorrow, too. But um, So, yeah, anyway, Jack Funny 313 please check that out. <laughs> oh. My head's starting to feel a little bit better. I would double bend this, but I don't. I don't need to make. Sometimes, if I want it to feel, I like I like for my top knots and my buns and stuff to feel really, really secure, really tight. <laughs> But I don't want to do it too tight. I've been trying not to do that. So I'll just put one. If I wanted it to feel more snug around my head, I would put another band. But it's all good. Especially considering after I get done with this, I'm just going to lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I miss. I need another rubber band. If I was really like wearing this, because I wear my hair in a top, top knot a lot, especially for work, I would, it would be a little bit, um, I think I would do this part a little bit better, but I kind of like it messy. It does never really get messed up or anything like that, even throughout my whole work night. It'll, it'll stay the same. <clears throat> So I was so pleased. I was finally able to get my hair dyed back honey blonde. And let me tell y'all about Amazone though, okay? Because that's where I got my hair color at. But, um, so I had ordered the, the honey blonde that I've used before I was red. I was honey blonde. And, um, at one point I went a much lighter blonde. But I think I'm just going to stick with the honey blonde here um, for now, but anyway, so I ordered the same color that I ordered some years back, a couple years ago, um, 
the Honey Blonde, and it came in a pack. It was sold in a pack of three, and so I ordered the pack of three. Well, um, I get a delivery from Amazon, and then, but I never opened the box, and the box was small. The box was like the size of maybe one hair color box, not three. So, with work and everything, I just I hadn't opened it but I saw on my Amazon account, it was asking me to rate the hair color, you know, or it sends you the thing, shows you the picture, how did we do? And, um, but like I said, I hadn't opened it. <clears throat> so I, um, I didn't do the feedback because of that. So I'm looking and I'm like, just assuming they, they didn't send me just one box of hair color instead of the three. So without opening the box, which is my fault, I call Amazon and I'm like on the chat thing. I didn't get to talk to a live person. I did the chat and um, I'm explaining that, you know, what happened that I ordered a pack of three hair color, but I only have one. So the first person that I spoke with is like, okay, it took a minute, but he's like, okay, so it looks like your other, the rest of your order is in transit and will arrive on the 25th of March. Okay. So the 25th of March comes and goes and I'm like, like the 26th, I, or the, the night of the 25th where, where mail would have run, nothing else was going to be delivered. I called. And I'm telling them, you know, I get back on the chat line. I didn't call, but I'm telling them what happened and that, you know, nothing has been delivered and they're apologizing. We're so sorry. Do you want to just go ahead and get refunded? And I'm like, at this point, yes. You know, I was so agitated by that because I really wanted the hair color, even though at that time I couldn't necessarily do it right at that time um, because it was still too early for me to color my hair I feel like but I just needed to wait a couple more days but anyway um so I go ahead and I um when I got done with that I got on their website and I ordered hair color it was the same honey blonde not the same honey blonde but a different brand of honey blonde so um I did a cream of nature honey blonde. So anyway, <laughs> I finally opened up the box. I'm like, I got this one box of hair color, you know. I opened up the box that they asked me to rate, the hair color, this and that. It wasn't even hair color, y'all. They sent me something completely different. It was not hair color at all. I was like, y'all just messed up all the way on this one. And... And the person who ever sent me saying that my the rest of my order was in transit and would be here and by the 25th, I'm like, well, y'all just making stuff up because that never happened. Like, it's just crazy. So I, I, see, I feel like I have more and more problems like that with Amazon. So I don't know. <clears throat> like I was talking to Aubrey about it. I was like, I don't know if it's like maybe they're short staffed or something going on like that way, but dang. So yeah, it wasn't hair color. It was a Miel hair mask, which I will still gladly use, especially since I've been refunded for my color, but I'll gladly use it, but that is not what I needed or ordered. So <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Amazon was tripping. But um, so let me go ahead and put my clothes on and then I'm gonna do some accessories. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, I got a little bit distracted because Cops is on and they got this man that's um, naked in the street and <laughs> doing bath salts. So, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's like headache still, y'all. <laughs> I think this outfit is going to be it. And then I am going to get my stuff ready for tomorrow and probably just chill out. <laughs> this is 
match. Kind of. This is the watch band I had on earlier. I'm <laughs> just like the same one on. <clears throat> these jeans, I'll have to stand up and show you guys these jeans. I think they're so cute. And I'm like, <laughs> kind of stubby. Like, my legs are kind of fat and stubby. So, I typically don't do well with bell-bottom jeans. <laughs> um, just because of that. But these, I really like. I think they are so cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll do... <laughs> Put some earrings on. Mm -mm -mm. I could do gold, too. Hold on. Could do a gold hoop. Could do a silver hoop. I'm tripping, y'all. Um, so maybe I'll try both. I just get like that sometimes. Indecisive. Especially when I have too many options. I might end up putting the gold ones on. But, and I also have, oh, I just saw something in my jewelry thing. Hold on. I forgot. Oh, I got these little hummingbird earrings. They like, it has the thing where you just put that in your ear and then twist it so it doesn't come out and that dangles. I might put those on. Let me see if I have both of them out. I might only have one in here and the other one might be in my actual jewelry box. And I don't feel like digging through it y'all. I don't. But anyway, I think that this would be a cute option. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to put the gold one. If I, if I had on, because I was saying I was going to do two outfits, if I had the other outfit on, which would have been the um, a black jumpsuit outfit, then I think that I would wear these silver just because of the hearts. But which I actually put on there. These hearts don't go on here. They're like a charm for another earring, but I just thought they would look cute on these hoops. So, but yeah, let me put just some little gold bracelets on <laughs> and throw some gold earrings on. And maybe because of the pants too, the gold will be good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be staying up as late as usual, y'all. Because I just, like, my head is starting to throb again. I think I'm just tired. And then, of course, I'm having some hormonal stuff. <laughs> so that, on top of it, is like, ugh. I feel like, you know how, like, the old Wild Wild West movies are? And you have like the um, the cowboy with the gun on and the, the one face in the having the face off or the you know getting ready to shoot their guns. I feel like I'm like that with like menopause. Like I'm like, come on, like I want to win in this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's taking forever. <laughs> I have a pair of plain gold hoops, like without the sparkle. And then I have, because I had the plain ones on earlier when I went to my mom's. Oh, I have these too. These are cute. I forgot about these. These actually would look cute with the jeans. I might put these on, y'all. Hold on. I'm tripping. This is what happens. This is what happens when you have too many options. You just... Sometimes it's hard to narrow down. These are a pair of my favorite earrings, though. I'm gonna switch this to this next to my watch. Yeah, 
Those are cute. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <coughs> so have y'all been catching up or even paying attention to this whole P. Diddy thing? Oh my Lord, y'all. When I talked about this, like, I think in my last video or last video before last, something like that. I was, remember I was talking, I was saying, you know, this could be just rumors, this and that. And I don't think it's just rumors at this point. Because I was watching, I subscribed to this Law Network TV where they have a bunch of trials and stuff like that. And so they're legit. Like you don't have to worry about getting on there and being told something and it's like a fluke. Like they're pretty legit. So they had on there when his his properties had gotten raided just recently and i was like what like it is really coming together y'all like this is not a joke like at first i was like it's just rumors and you know people just saying stuff but no it's not just rumors y'all so he has been just I hate to say a monster, but that's the only thing that comes to mind. It is so mind-boggling, everything, all the stuff that he is being accused of. So, I am on my break at work on, was it Saturday? On Friday or Saturday, I was on my break at work. And um, so, I was watching videos and a feed popped up. <clears throat> I forget, I might have saved it to my one of my playlists, I'm not sure. But a feed popped up and it was of a recording that Diddy's, I think his former bodyguard, one of his former bodyguards, somebody that worked for him had recorded with his phone. And it was, um, we'll call it an interaction. <laughs> <laughs> between Diddy and Meek Mill. I was like, oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, y'all just gotta check it out. I can't really go into it, but um, it's... I don't know what to say. It, it, was, it was shocking, but I was like, <laughs> dang. So just based off of that information, I'm pretty sure that um you know this is this is getting ready to get way more uglier than what it was because so many people are getting ready to be put out there and it just oh my goodness it's just and then they have um all the stuff because remember i was saying i think i was saying in my last video i could just be tripping y'all y'all know i've been tired but i i think i was talking about how they they're saying that Jay-Z has his hand in this dirt and um, and, and Beyonce and stuff like that. And now I'm reading things like they're kind of like she's trying to like trying to separate herself from him or from the situation. I don't know. I'm like, this is getting ready to get real, real messy. But one thing I can say for sure, these people that are talking and giving this information have to be so careful because... Especially now that a lot of light has been shed on the fact that in the past, people who have decided to share too much information about certain celebrities, especially Diddy, have um, <laughs> come up deceased. <laughs> Missing, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's just deep, y'all. I'm like, dang, you know. I just appreciate my little old life. <laughs> my little simple life. Oh my goodness. It's just a hot mess. But, um, so yeah, let me show you my little outfit. This video, I'm going to have to chop it down because it's an hour already. So I think this top is so cute. I think I wore it in a video before. I think so. I'm not really sure, but I, I still love it. And I had to find something to put on with the jeans. I was going to do like a little tank top at first, but then, it, and I know that these colors typically don't go together, but for some reason they work. So, and that's kind of like how I like to dress. 
So let me try to step back. When and if I move, you guys, I'm gonna have a space where I can actually do better videos, I hope. <clears throat> and maybe at some point I'll be able to actually do videos like in the daylight. Like, because I have a huge window in here, but <laughs> it's always nighttime or dark. Hey, aren't these cute, y'all? These jeans are very comfortable. They have a nice stretch to them. Like some of my jeans will cut into me some. These are very, have very good stretch, They're very breathable. They just need to be ironed right here <laughs> where the zipper is, but it's cute. I could definitely run around in this outfit or go to lunch, to a movie, out shopping. I love the chunky heel and it's comfortable on my foot. My toes are pretty like my fingernails. <laughs> my toenails are pretty like my fingernails. And let me grab a purse real quick that I think would be cute. So I know that this purse is suede, but I still, in this purse I've had it for years and I know it's a little bit worn, but that can just be cleaned. You know, suede and leather kind of do better as they, as they age. I just love a suede bag. I love a leather bag that ages well, and I tend to keep stuff like that for a long time, but I think this is adorable. Underwear showing in the back. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I am pleased with this outfit. I am pleased with the jeans. That's really what I wanted to be able to try out. But with this top, it's supposed to be off the shoulder. But as you see, every time I lift my arms, it pops back up. That's one thing about this top. If you want to wear it off the shoulder, it's you kind of have to keep your arms down <laughs> and who can just keep their arms down so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's cute it's cute so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for spending time with me i was missing y'all <laughs> i apologize that i didn't get to get on yesterday and give an official a formal happy easter but you know i was tired you guys i know you understand but anyway thanks again for watching and i will see you soon